Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mark, and you are watching Twad. Twad. T. T. W. A. D. Twad. I'm still working out my train with a dummy, trying to make it sound a little bit cooler than just train with a dummy. Today's episode, we're going to cover part three of four of the Cheat Code Algo Group. What is part three of Cheat Code, you may ask? And that's a good question. Part three of Cheat Code will cover their master classes that are sold separately from the Cheat Code Algo and Discord community. This one should be fast, but then again, I say that every single time and somehow I continue to have long formatted videos. Probably because I kind of go off script like I'm doing now and I just keep talking, blah, blah, blah. What do you say we cut the chit chat a-hole? Cheat Code Algo is master courses that are self-contained mastermind-like lessons that focus on a specific section of the market as well as real estate. They got the stock and option course, crypto course, and I hate crypto by the way, did I ever say that? Real estate of course, which I browsed through but I didn't really spend much time on it because I'm just not currently investing in real estate and I'm kind of waiting for the market to cool down. Then there's a commodities and futures course as well as Forex. Now, if you are familiar with my content, I'm a huge advocate of free information. That doesn't mean that I'm against people charging for their time and product that they put together, contrary to what some of you may think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very critical when it comes to charging for free information and delivering it in a subpar product at a premium price. That's ultimately my problem. I'll give you an example. The very first course I ever bought was a three-in-one package by the Wealth Squad creator, Chris Johnson. It cost me a whopping $50. It was Chris Johnson going over basic information that he put together on a PowerPoint presentation. And yes, yes, it was not worth more than $50. Whether you like it or not, the average person can risk 50 bucks for some information they may or may not have known and consume it visually versus buying several books which would probably likely equal out to the same cost. Knowledge. Point being, it was worth $50, but let's say he would have sold that same product for two to $500, I would probably say it was a complete ripoff. I'm a component of value-based pricing, and just because you have a popular name should not justify you leveraging your name to take advantage of people. If you follow what I teach you, you guys should have similar results. Just like Trey showed us with the 125% on DraftKings. Y'all know that's my baby. Yeah. I think I want my money back. So yeah, comment below and let me know what you think. Do you agree with my thoughts, or do you think I'm completely off? That's so the point of my rant is that there isn't anything you cannot learn for free on YouTube or going to a library or checking out my Amazon affiliate link below. And what you typically are paying for is how the person takes that free information and repackages it for you to consume. Cheat Code Algo did exactly that by taking all the information that can be sometimes exhausting to find online, organizing it, and delivering it in a digestible visual manner. So that's the disclaimer for everyone. So don't hate me when I recommend courses or groups online. Just always know that you can always find all that information for free. So enough of my rant, let's jump into this. Each one of these courses is a series of modules breaking down the subject matter you bought. 99% of the modules consist of a PowerPoint brief with voiceover, with the other 1% being a recorded Zoom session workshop from the past. If I had to put them in order from my favorite to least favorite, I would put the stocks and options course as number one. I felt that course had the most value with a ton of information on all sides of the coins, from fundamentals to technicals to micro slash macro economics and how to trade. 
I'm not a huge crypto fan, however, I would put the crypto course in second place. I felt the crypto course had a lot of information to cover the entire concept of what a crypto space is. For example, if a crypto had a college course, this masterclass will be considered Crypto 101 and you will leave with the fundamental understanding of what is crypto. That way you won't be confused like some people are when they go to college on what is a woman. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you are pregnant. denying that trans people look like this? And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Think. Think. Can men give birth? Sometimes. That's my answer. Yes. And in third place, I would place the real estate course. It seemed to cover nearly everything I would be interested in if I had been in that space right now. Then I would put the Forex course followed by the least favorite, which was the Futures course. The reason this one landed last place in my review is because I felt it covered what is the Futures market, but not how to trade Futures. You don't really leave with the skill of trading, but you will leave with the understanding of how the Futures market works. What I did like about the Futures course as well as the Forex course is that they spend some time on the mental capital that the Futures market as well as the Forex market can take away from you. Because it's not as easy as clicking buy or sell. Your emotions have a big part to do with it. Seeing that I'm heavy in the futures market, I definitely feel that it's 80% mindset and 20% skill. If you can detach yourself from the money, I think you will succeed as a futures and forex trader. Let's talk about the positives first. Going through these masterclasses, not once did I feel like the individuals who were teaching didn't know what they were talking about. They all seemed to have a fundamental understanding and technical understanding of the courses they were delivering. Each course was taught by a different individual, so keep that in mind. Besides the old Zoom session mastermind courses, you will not see the creators teaching much in these. It's mostly the admins you have gotten familiar with from most of the cheat code community. The information provided is in depth, especially for a beginner who may be new to the stock market or options, crypto, futures, forex, and real estate. It's one of the few courses I went through that I legit felt like I was in a college 101 course and I left with an understanding of the fundamentals. Now let's talk about the cons. Where the master classes fall short in is being unique from the other courses I've gone through. This seems to be a standard for all these financial literacy courses, a PowerPoint brief with someone talking. I wish I could see more of these paid courses have a Ricky Gutierrez level of production and setup. And by all means, I am not a fan of this YouTuber, but his quality of content and delivery is pretty damn good. Maybe even something like the Everything Money YouTube channel setup where they have a TV screen where the guy is writing on it and talking to you. I'd like to see something like that, something that's a little bit different. That would be dope. Most people probably don't care about this and are more interested in the content that is covered. As I said earlier, the content they cover is very in-depth to understanding the asset class that you bought. But what is missing in most of these courses is the execution part. Show me how to implement these methods, i.e. actually walking you through getting in and out of a trade, pulling up a company and examining the earnings report, pulling up charts, showing you live option chains and how to place an order, see how it plays out and show you how to exit, the nitty and gritty of implementing the skills you just learned. Something like the video I did on placing OCO orders when you trade options. Then you go over to the plus and minus symbol, you click on that two times, and now you have the percentages. So what percentage do you want to get out of your trade for profit? Yep, that was a shameless plug. Now, let's get into the pricing. Now y'all know, I do my best to give an objective review on every trading group I go through, but when it comes to pricing, it's very subjective for me. I don't want to compare things. I just say, I don't, yeah, I don't no, mean you that. know, no, no, because you know, it, but, but what it is, it's that thing where you just cheat code algo masterclasses go for $997. Yeah, it's just shy of a thousand dollars. I don't know what it is with a seven, but everyone uses that as like a marketing tactic. I don't know why. And here's the thing the price will always end in a seven. Why? Well, there's been some pseudoscience behind the power of pricing, ending in a seven, converting better. But now it's more of a case that everybody does it. It always ends in a seven. Now, personally, it is definitely out of my price range. Not personal. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! The information is good. Trust me, there is a lot of information covered in each course, but when I compare the price to the information, to the competition, to its value, 
it's overpriced. Not to mention they have Cheat Code Academy, which is what I'm reviewing next. Perhaps if it came into a bundle, my sentiment would change, but as of right now, the price is a little high. It's like Tesla. I'm waiting for Tesla to get to 550. Just saying. So here is my conclusion. The Cheat Code Algo Masterclasses offer in-depth information on an intro level. It will give you all the info you need for the basics, but it leaves you somewhat longing for more on the execution side of things. To be fair, I was told that they're reshooting a lot of the content for the masterclasses because they have more resources now to make it better. So I'm not sure how well this review will age moving forward, but as of right now, this is how I feel about the master courses. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. With that being said, what did you guys think of the review? Have you taken any of the courses? And if you have, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. Did I miss anything? I don't know, you let me know. Comment below and as always, my name is Mark, you are watching Trading With A Dummy and I see you guys in the next video which will be part four of Cheat Code, which is a Cheat Code Academy and then I will start dropping my brand new content. Deuces.